right, y'all so we are about to start i'm waiting on the doctor to pull me they're prepping the room now um, i'm all marked up like a subway in harlem just had a little so i don't have on a bra obviously i'm just having an underwear look um that's going to cover my hoo-ha tell me why my menstrual decided to start literally like two hours ago <laughs> and it's four days early and i'm like like oh my god that's so awkward so they gave me a pad um and the nurse practitioner was super nice like uh <laughs> she was like oh, you're not flowing now but you're gonna be flowing later so here here's a pad um so yeah i have a pad um but yeah i just want to check in show you how it all looks um and yeah we'll talk later i just got back to the hotel from surgery how do i feel um, I'm a little in pain. Uh, the reason I, like, they gave me an additional dose of whatever pain stuff they put in your IV, like, uh, not right before I left, about 15 minutes before I left, so that helped alleviate the pain. Uh, I'm gonna flip it so you can see how it looks, how I look. All right, so, this is how I look. Um, this is just a sports bra that I put on, so y'all don't see my titties. Uh, so. This is the fajar that they gave me, half padding everywhere. And what they did is, let me back up. No, I don't need to back up. So they did my entire tummy. They did my sides. They did my full back to take those rolls out. And then they added it to my butt to round it out. Um, so that's what I got done. Ooh, I am a tad nauseous, um, but that may be because I was riding in the back of a car, um, laying face first down. So that and the anesthesia. So those two mixed with not eating all day, um, that's definitely probably why I feel fucking, fucking nauseous. So the process, how it happened. So I was, uh, I walked to the operating room. There they sprayed me down with like this dark reddish, like, prep stuff i think it's like anti uh antibacterial like spray so they sprayed my entire body with that um i laid down on the operating table i had about five doctors in there i do believe that um he was teaching during mine which is totally fine i was just like sure whatever let's just do it um and so once i laid down and my head back the anesthesiologist switched out whatever it is that she had already on my IV and I was out like a late. I woke up to them trying to put on my fa. That's what did it because I was just like, oh my God. It wasn't like excruciating pain, but you could feel it. Like and I'm I'm like feel it feel it. it was about about a six out of ten. So after they got it on, I oh my God, my arms are getting tired. Woo that's crazy. So after they got it on, um, I was in pain. The pain went to from like a six to a seven and I was extremely cold to the point to where I was like shivering. So, um, the, uh, women doctors were so nice. They got me this weighted blanket and then they also got me like this inflatable blanket to where they put like a hose in it and it pushed hot air into it. And it was, it felt so good. So I was just kind of laying there. Um, and then uh, one of the female doctors uh, gave me the second dose of the, um, I guess, medicine, the pain medicine that goes into your IB before she took it out. So that was awesome. My pain went away instantly. Like <laughs> we were chatting and just having like casual conversation. <laughs> And yeah, I, uh, my blood pressure was a tad high, so they did want me to wait like 10 minutes, but then it ended up going back down to like it's normal levels. So yeah, they discharged me. Uh, they carted me out in a wheelchair. And yeah, I rode here. Uh, and here we are. My mom's prescribing, uh, getting my prescription now. So I was a little nauseous, but uh, I do believe that that is why it's this pad look at this shit the pad for this bra is like way up here and that's whatever um so uh what's i about to say yeah i was a little nauseous but i do believe that that is from laying down 
in the back of the car and my throat is dry as Methuselah. So I am going to chalk that up to like not having anything to drink all day and the anesthesia like <laughs> it's probably why my lips look the way they fucking look. I'm crying. Um, <laughs> but yeah, not terrible. Um, I'm saying this now. Uh, this medicine wore off. We might be having an old different conversation. But yeah, uh, the first couple hours are pretty decent. I can walk around freely. Like it doesn't hurt to walk. I do like this little waddle thing. <laughs> it does hurt a little bit to laugh. Um, and it is kind of, I am kind of slow for obviously like getting down onto the bed and into the car, but that's expected, but yeah, I mean, it is what it is. So I will check in with y'all tomorrow. Later. It's a new day. Uh, it is about 12 hours after surgery. I am feeling the pain. A little more now. I just have a high pain tolerance. Um, and then also I did take a Percocet at like four o'clock this morning, so it's probably still helping. Um, what else? I have my first lymphatic massage today at eleven. Ooh, my arm tired. God, And as you can tell, or maybe you can, my face is a little swollen. I do think that's just because I was like laying on it to sleep, but. Yeah, it is uh, a little swollen, but it's not like the end of the world. Honestly, more than anything, I've just been hungry and thirsty as heck. Like, because I went like 24 hours without eating, and they say you're supposed to do 8 to 10. Like, after the surgery, I was just like, oh, where the food at? <laughs> Where's the food at? So, yeah, I'm just about to take it easy for a little bit. I'm going to eat some two nine crackers and some watermelon slices and chill out. Until it's time to go to my love on massage, so later. <laughs> it is about 36 hours after surgery. I um can definitely feel it now. Um, it's not like like I said before, it's not like unbearable. It's just uh, you can feel it. I have been having a little bit of difficulty um sleeping at night, so I have been taking a thorough flu to help me go to sleep and stay asleep. So that's been helping a lot. Um, and I haven't really been taking that much of the pain medicine um, because I wanted to save it for my lymphatic massages because I've heard that those hurt a lot. And I would rather have my pain medicine uh, when I go to those. I did not go to my lymphatic massage yesterday because like I was just so sore and with my menstrual have just started uh, yesterday I was just like I can't it's just way too much going on my body right now we'll just wait until Monday um so that is tomorrow tomorrow when I have my very first no body massage and we'll do that I am however going to take my first shower today because I feel gross and also do want to kind of get a sneak peek at how my body looks. <laughs> so that's that. And yeah, uh, I got my appetite back. So that's cool. And what else? I don't know, I don't have anything else to put on right now. Like, oh, I'm not bleeding anymore. So I'm not, I don't have any more like fluids currently coming out of my wounds or anything. So I switched the little pads that I had in my bed. Um, I switched them out yesterday and over last night I didn't um, bleed on them at all. So that was cool. Actually, let me show y'all what these pads look like. Okay. So that's how all the pads look. They, they look, it feels like a little puppy pad. So 
so yeah, I switched it out like I said yesterday. And there's like a little bit of blood, but it's not like a lot. All was well. I also went ahead and got the ghetto version of the Advil so that I don't have to take all of my Oxy yet. Uh, Cause like I said before, I'm trying to save that. Ow, I just scratched the crap out of my face. <laughs> I'm trying to save that for when I go get my left massages. Cause I've heard from a lot of different videos that those hurt. So, there we have it. Um, tomorrow is also my post-op. So, I'll be going in and I'll be getting my body looked at. A uh, post-op body looked at. Uh, I'm very excited to see how she looks. Because like, I can tell from my, my silhouette that like I got curves for days and I can tell that it's not like you know an exuberant amount of curves which is what I wanted I wanted just enough I wanted you to be able to see an aloe guys figure without it being like wham bam thank you ma'am for me so yeah um but I am I'm happy like I mean it's not I'm happy with my decision I don't regret it at all it's not nearly as bad as I thought it was going to be. Which is funny because that's how it is with life a lot. Sometimes we we truly ex we, we, uh, expect the worst. But then when whatever happens, we realize that it's not as bad as we were making it appear. Uh, or making it seem like it was going to be. So this was definitely a great um, life lesson to learn. Oh, I need to brush my teeth. I can taste it. Um, oh, yeah, I'm happy. This is this is awesome. And I cannot wait to see how this body looks when I take all this padding off. And I take a shower. And the swelling goes down. But, yeah, that's it for right now. Let's check in. Later. So, I'm going to show y'all how my stomach looks. Um... It does look a little gross, so um, be wary of that. But I want to show y'all. Hold on. Okay. I'm about to take a shower, so that's why I was like, let me go ahead and show everybody how this looks. Now, let me think. I got this done on Friday. I was done Friday at 8 o'clock, and it's like Monday a little after 8, so... Oh, it's a Saturday, Sunday. It's been like two days as a change. This is the app board. It did not come with it. I bought this off of Amazon myself because I saw the other girls had it. But hold on. Let me prop this up. So bad. down because there's literally a hole where my vagina is so but I'm trying to get the gist of it. Let's see I'm gonna take it all the way out. And then I'm gonna put this right before you get to my hoo -ha. So yeah that's how it looks. So, luckily for me, I didn't bruise that that bad. Um, let me send you right there. I got two right there. I got two underneath my butt cheeks. 
and then I have one in my crack because I get that I get that crack in my crack um so yeah my belly button looks weird but it doesn't look like super weird I think it's because like I already had like a really big belly button <laughs> um naturally oh and then I have two incisions right there but yeah my belly button was already big so I guess now it just looks like a regular Emmy belly button How does it feel? It feels like it's fluid inside of it, which feels gross. So I heard for the lymphatics to grab it and they push everything down. I am not looking forward to it at all, but it is what it is. I do also have some, a little bit of um, bruising underneath my boobs. Hold on, let me. Cover the cucumber. Okay, we're gonna do that. So, mm -hmm. showing the people how it looks. Uh, see, I got a little bit of bruising right in there, but it's not terrible. But yeah, all in all, I really didn't bruise that bad. I don't. Mm -hmm. I guess I'm just super warming with it because I just don't look terrible. It just looks weird, weird as I'll get out, but I don't look terrible. I can tell once I get start getting my massages and everything, I'll be good to go. So, yeah, that's how it looks. I got a big old bruise right there, and my cool car is super swollen. But I wish I could show y'all the butt. But no, make sure y'all have somebody with y'all at least for like the first week. You don't have to get one of those little, I didn't really want to pay for a um, a nurse because I already spent a lot of money on the surgery as is. So I was just like, I ain't, I ain't trying to ball out on this, but my mom has been taking amazing care of me. And that's all I really needed. So I need nothing else. Okay. Whew. Oh yeah, that's a butt baby, that's a butt. So once the fluids go down in my waist, we'll be cooking, good looking. Cause I told them I wanted it to be natural, I didn't want like a super duper huge butt. And it's supposed to look square right now and hard, but they did say as time goes on, that it around itself out. Um, so yeah. You think it looks okay? I do, yeah, it looks really good. You don't have any issue on the other side and stuff. Mm -mm. Now if you would have filled my hips in like I wanted, now I'm joking. Mm -hmm. So okay. And I see my well, like it's not that far off from how she started. We'll see how it looks when everything is done. The butt is kinda it's kinda nice looking. I like it. Can't wait to see how it starts looking after these massages and stuff. But yeah, that's that. I'm about to take me a shower, y'all. Just wanted to give y'all that quick little update. Later. So I just got out of my first lymphatic massage. It honestly, it wasn't terrible. Uh, it felt uncomfortable, definitely, for sure. But on a scale of 1 to 10, pain-wise, it's about out of 4 and a half, 5. So um, I went to a place called Sapphire, and I'll have the information below. Um, but it was an hour and the first 30 minutes I was on my stomach kind of to the sleep and they did uh, my flanks and also my butt and then I uh, for the other 30 minutes I stood up 
and she gave me a massage on my core. Uh, the back didn't hurt at all. Uh, my flanks didn't hurt either. The only pain where it came is when she was doing my stomach and she was um, kind of pressing down on it, just trying to get the fluids out. I didn't have any fluids that drained out in the front, but in the back I did. <laughs> and uh, it was just, I think the sound of it was kind of worse than, than the massage itself. Cause you could hear like, <laughs> and I was like, oh my God, this sounds terrible. Like it sounded gross. Um, but no, it wasn't that bad at all. I, that was the first one. I have four more uh, that I want to do. I'm going to do the other four in Tampa. And then if necessary, I'll add some more um, just to see. It really all depends on how much, um, how uh, it all looks. But yeah, I just want to give y'all an update on that. And I am headed back to the hotel to go get um to go check out and then head to the post stop and then we are out of here check in later all right i'm finally back home um it is today's tuesday i got the surgery done friday evening so saturday sunday monday it's been about three and a half days since i got the surgery um the I'm sure you the body first. We'll do body first. If I can set this up. So, you're supposed to keep your faha on for 24 hours, but I had to take a shower this morning. Um, so, I took it off and I was like, why not go ahead and show the kid good folk how it looks so far? Ooh. Okay. So, this is where I'm at. Ooh, still swollen, but we getting there. Foot, hmm. and then the other side. So yeah. I will say when I woke up earlier this morning, it definitely, I had more curves, but I've had my fall off about an hour now and I took a shower. So it's definitely starting to just kind of like back out, but I'm liking it so far. Uh, obviously still got some healing to go. Um, and then now I, can, uh, now I can show you where the incisions are. So I have two right there, you can see they're still open. One right there, one right there. I have, one right there from the Kuka. Uh, I'm having a cell phone because I can't feel them. Um, I have one in the crack of my butt. But you can't see it. I'm not gonna show you. Um, and then I have two underneath my butt cheeks. Um, so those are where my incisions are. I know y'all are probably looking like, damn, she looks like she in pain. I'm not really, not that I'm in pain. I'm just, I feel stiff. Um, so that's what that is. I am, this morning though, I will say I had an exorbitant amount of constipation. It was terrible. Like, and the doctor warned me, he was like, yo, if you don't have to take the pain meds, don't. Like, cause you could just take Advil, it will make you cause the pain. And I was like, nah, I've done Percocets before. I'll be fine. Yeah, uh, it took me about an hour to use the bathroom this morning, but I did get it out, thank God. Um, but yeah, the extra shit was fucking terrible. Um, and I clogged my goddamn toilet. <laughs> In the process of it. Um. But yeah, I go back to work tomorrow. Uh, I was originally supposed to go back today, but last minute, like, I think like last week, I put in to have the day off too. Because something just told me, like, Chris didn't have this day off too, so I have the day off too. Um, but yeah, no, day by day, it gets better. I've been, my appetite is completely 100% back. Like, I used to get hungry in the middle of the night. I definitely got hungry in the middle of the night last night. Um, 
my energy levels are back. The only thing that's kind of difficult is still is sleeping. Like I'm still trying to figure out like that that sweet spot with sleeping because I'm a tummy sleeper, but I'm a tummy and a side sleeper naturally. So it's been difficult to not roll over to my side. Even though they say you can sleep on your side, they just say it's just recommended to sleep on your stomach the um the whole time. So I've been trying to push myself to not sleep on my side. Um, and it's and it hurts a little when I get up, uh, just for for the strain. But um, yeah, that's I think that's that's probably the worst part. It's not really any like day to day pain. It's, that piece is fine. Uh, it's just the sleeping part and the getting up and being asleep part. <laughs> so, but it's it is getting better every single day. I have. Sorry, I haven't had caffeine since. God, I haven't had caffeine in like two weeks, and I'm a I'm a, I'm a caffeiner, so be real tired. Um, but yeah, um, that's it. I have a lymphatic body massage tomorrow, and. Yeah, can't wait for some more of these fluids to go down, baby. See, I can touch it now, and it's not my. Well, this is this is me. That's that's, that's me naturally. Uh, but I can touch it. It feels like it still feels kind of hard <laughs> um, and weird. I can't suck in, so I wouldn't even really want to try it because it feels kind of weird. Um, but no, can't no deep breaths. Um, and yeah. And that's that. Oh, when I use the bathroom to take it up or two, I kind of like lift the toilet seat up, like all the way, you know, having things up. And then I like kind of lean forward and back and I'm like on my knees. So it's kind of like a projectile. It's this very weird style, but I'm like serious about not sitting on his ass um, for the recommended time because I really wanted to stay. Um. <laughs> but yeah. Three day, three and a half days. Oh, every now and then, like what just happened, I feel like a nerve pinch, and it'll just be like a little boop in like a random spot. Right now, it was like right underneath my boob, <laughs> so it hurts, but it's not like a, a, a lasting pain. It's like a little pinch. Well, that happened. Um. All right, yeah, that's it. Just want to check in, show y'all what's going on. I'm about to put this fire back on so I can get back snatched again. And also, now I'm wearing three phones instead of just one. Um, and I'm wearing it on my my front and on my sides to give me that hourglass shape. Um, but yeah, that is it for now. Later. <laughs>